welcome home welcome back to the channel this is another mcdonald's video so today i went to mcdonald's because i love mcdonald's most people love for mcdonald's is with their fries but mm, wow, i love the coca-cola so i went to mcdonald's for a nice ice cold coca-cola right Mm -hmm. So anyway, I went today to McDonald's to get me an ice cold Coca-Cola, and this is what happened. I go over to the machines, and I get my own soda, and I politely check the nozzle, and you should too. You should. You definitely should. Anyway, over to the machine with my little cup in my hand, all happy-go-lucky. I'm finna get a nice cold Coca-Cola from McDonald's, my favorite type of place. Great smiles and happy faith. Fuck that. I just want the soda, okay? I can already see that the nozzle was dirty. Well, I turned that nozzle and took it off and held and held it in my hand. A bunch of gook and slime inside that nozzle. Where people soda come down and the study washing down, washing down into your cup. So I tried to play it cool. Not get all out of hand, not embarrass nobody, not sound off any alarms around the restaurant. I goes over to the counter calling myself a good Samaritan, trying to be a Captain Saver. Oh. So I goes over to the counter to the manager. I even tried to whisper. I was like, hey, hey, you know. I tried to tell her. But she didn't send nobody out there. So I was like, um, I have two Coca-Colas and I don't want my soda from over there. Can I have a soda a soda from behind the counter? And all y'all know who's behind the counter clean, as a matter of fact. So anyway, she went on ahead and she gave me two sodas from behind the counter. So I was like, so what's going to happen when I want to refill, right? Because I don't see anybody coming out to change the nozzle and clean them on the machine. So she was like, oh, she'll just give me a larger size. Okay, so how does that fix the problem? What about everybody else? And I'm going to run through this medium cup of soda. So anyway, I took the soda and I went on ahead and I said, let me give her a chance. So I goes to my seat and I sit down. Not feeling well about my co-occupants of the McDonald's restaurant is still going to be sipping on gook. It just didn't sit right with me. So I goes ahead and I sit in my seat and I'm just slowly eating my hot fries and my hamburger while I watch her to see just how long it was going to take her. And I'm eating, and I'm eating, and I'm eating, and I'm eating. I'm almost through my stuff, and I'm through my surprise, and I drank all my soda, and then I was like, this, hold up. This is where the buck stopped. Right, it's time for me to get another cup. Now, I'm looking. She did send somebody from behind the counter to clean up in the area. She cleaned the counters. She made it look presentable. She stuffed some old straw. She put some old lids, sprayed and wiped and scrubbed and cleaned and took the trash out and touched everything but the nozzles. I'm like, excuse me, excuse me. At this point, I went on ahead, I took the nozzle off, off the machine, okay? And I goes up to the counter. No more whisper challenge. I'm not whispering. I'm not loud talking, but I'm not whispering either. I say, um, excuse me, could you give your manager this nozzle and tell her to look at this? Right, right? So the manager proceeds to turn around and say, oh, you're not supposed to take that off the machine. You're supposed to tell me first. I was like, excuse me, I did tell you first. No, you didn't. You came up here with it in your hand, then you told me. I was like, no ma'am. I put a whole order in and it complained and everything. It told you at that point that the nozzles was dirty and I wanted a drink, a safe drink, okay? Not something that looked like it got mold hanging and dangling, waiting to jump inside my soda, okay? So, don't tell me about it. I ain't tell you nothing, right? So then she gets a little attitude. I say, um, excuse me. We can cash the attitude in and just give me a bag. And I can take the number and I can call corporate, okay? Because I'm busy and we're going to get to it. You need to give me a chance. I never said I wouldn't. Okay. Meanwhile, everybody that's out here, meanwhile, because you busy making more fries and collecting more cash, these people out here drinking gook right am i being difficult to just act self to simply just make sure the nozzle is clean so nobody have gunk slime look like snot and boogers and black mold going down into their drink let me tell you guys if you're not happy at a job you need to move on don't jeopardize nobody else's health don't even jeopardize your happiness okay so this is the more order story 
Whatever you say, you're going to do something. Do it at 100%. If you're not going to do it, don't do it at all. Nobody drug you into McDonald's and put your name on the dotted line, okay? So if you came in there, you have you should have had the best intentions for the establishment and the customers. When you get to the point that you don't care anymore and you would do anything and everything except for the right thing, I think you need to be finding somewhere else to go. Doesn't make any sense. Anyway, Dream Family, I really do appreciate you guys, as always, for stopping by to listen to me rant, rave, and tell my little stories. And if you're not already subscribed to the channel, make sure you take this opportunity to do so. Listen, guys, I got something to share with you guys. And I am really trying to build my channel. I need to take it to the next level. So if you're not already subscribed to the channel, please subscribe to the channel. Please share it with your uncle, sister, cousin, brother, nephew. So share, share, share my channel. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat, Facebook. I'm all across a social. I am all across social media as a Black Mystery. So make sure you guys are following me outside of YouTube because I will be chatting with you guys on Twitter and Instagram. I really do appreciate you guys as always for stopping by, and I'll see you all in the next video.